All right, Jeff Jowett in the house. How are you, buddy? We are. Good I'm good, mate. Yourself? Nice to see you. Mate, thank you so much for doing this. I know you're a busy man. I value your time and you value your time more than anyone I, I know. So I really appreciate you being here, mate. I'm sure you get asked to do a million of these. No worries. Um, I get a couple, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Since your days on TV, this is, it's all changed a bit, I'm sure. Um, yeah, yeah, mate, it has changed a bit for, for the better, rest assured. So today, I mean, we could talk about a million and million things and I'm sure we maybe could talk for hours, but we don't have the time for that. So today we wanted to talk about patterns and people's behaviours. So this is, uh, you're, a, you're a coach for people, people who don't know. I'm sure you've dealt with a lot of people with different behaviours and patterns. You and myself, we've both been through you know, addiction problems and patterns in life, relationships and issues. Um, I personally believe that it's, you know, one of people's most, um, flawed things that they don't realize that their patterns are over and over and over and over again. So do you want to explain a bit about how patterns works and what, what you see from people? Yeah. So look, to give the really uh, obvious common one, uh, you know, an alcoholic gets sober, gives up the piss and then they become, um, you know, addicted to bodybuilding as an example. So they, they get sober, but then they're in the gym twice a day on steroids going a million miles an hour, the, the uh, alcohol addiction replaced by gym bodybuilding addiction. And that was me back in 2012, by the way. So um, very common. So you put one down, you pick up another and, you, and, and you're never really treating the root cause. That's a pattern. Other things, that's a pattern with addiction, but everyone's got a, uh, everyone's got some version of an addiction and or, or behaviors like that and with you know patterns in relationships patterns in their career people need to look at obviously their career over the last 10 20 30 years what are the patterns is there a cycle every five or ten does it go up and boom up and boom like mine did mine went up like a hockey stick and then we like snakes and ladders, big black snake down the side, back to zero. So that happened a few times, pattern, pattern. Now, people, until they can see patterns in their life and they take ownership of those patterns, they will never build a great life. They will always be a victim and it will always be hard. I was talking to someone the other day and, like, and I say I'm just blunt because blunt works. Nothing else does. Bullshit fluff doesn't. And I get drained of it and it doesn't add any value. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, I feel like I'm so close. I'm close. I'm close. I'm thinking, what are you close to? Fuck all. You're close to fuck all because you're doing the same thing that you've done for the last five years or 10 years and it's got you nowhere. So that is madness. People working, 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 doing the same process pattern model formula that hasn't got them there but i'm almost there no you're not no you're not now no judgment i did that for ages my luck will change it will be okay no it won't no it won't because it's not luck and it won't be okay your life changes when you become absolutely ruthless with taking ownership in everything in your life and if you don't it doesn't that that's the key and then like you can have an incredible life way better than we ever think without all the head noise and stress but we have to like what is driving us deep down inside like why do we why does it matter if i don't get that promotion why does it matter if i don't have that flash car now it might matter but why and i did this with a client the other day and like in real estate, got a couple of challenges, or he thinks he does. I don't think he does. But I said, let's just play this game. Imagine that you were restricted from doing real estate on earth forever. And maybe a few surrounding planets. Because if you're going to catastrophize, let's have a real fucking go. <laughs> let's not poke at it. Let's get fucking fair dinkum and catastrophize the shit out of it. So you can't practice real estate ever for the rest of your life on Earth and surrounding planets. Cool, you got that? Yep, nowhere. Maybe the moon too, gone. Okay. 
tell me why that's bad. Tell me why that's bad. Because what happened? He, he's like, well, it's not necessarily. I, I could just find something else. Do something else, yeah. Correct! Is why I'm fucking passionate about this with people because they need the job. Every coach out there's never done anything. They just coach. They've done a course. They've read a book, and now they're a guru. But they never did it themselves. I call bullshit. Yeah, it's a fucking joke. This is the real world, people. Like what we think is the worst thing ever. Okay, maybe, but tell me why it's the worst thing, or at least tell yourself why it's the worst thing. Because everything that I thought was absolutely cataclysmic, life is over, I want to kill myself. Three years later, I'm like, fuck, how good. thank God that happened. Thank God, <laughs> thank God, thank God. Everything that I thought was horrendous turned out to be the best. So it's almost like, are we so arrogant that we actually think our way is the only way? I'm not anymore. Because my way was never as good. As you're still my best where I am, not attached to an outcome. And then it just it just goes off on its thing. And life's great. Back in the old day, Jeff Jowett Empire Builder. Hello, folks. <laughs> Call now. <laughs> Mate, stress to my eyeballs. Massive wanker, huge ego. Like fake friends, because I was fake. Like rubbish. You strip it all back bare. And life gets really really good but you can't be in a hurry and you can't be defined by stuff you're going to get it back to like what you what you do each day but all of these things are wrapped in patterns like when you're jealous of a friend who gets a promotion why insecurity mm -hmm. i'm not enough why do you need the bmw when you've got the mazda insecurity because you feel you're not enough we're looking for external validation folks and until we don't look for external validation we will never feel enough mm -hmm. your life gets amazing when you feel enough without all the shit around you that's based on and i reckon it comes back to your values because when you and i never had any really like i did when i was a kid and you know my value was making dough and being famous <laughs> like you know yeah. wanker and uh, then, but then you get clear on who you are and what you do and boom. So then you actually know what they are and you don't compromise them, right? Then your self-esteem goes up because you know who you are. Then if your self-esteem goes up because you know who you are, you don't people please anymore. You don't people please anymore. So you, you, don't, you, you don't have to say yes to every Tom, Dick and Harry. So you can actually build a life. Mm -hmm. And it just it flows on and on and on and on. But I know a lot of people who, you know, they might, get married to you know a not not the best bloke and and then they do it again mm -hmm. and then they kind of come to me and like can you see the pattern and that that's then i help them to see the pattern and they're like yeah it's my self-esteem isn't it because i just i think that's all i'm, I'm worthy of is there that's good all. and bad patterns do you feel like you obviously i train a fair bit you know is that is that just another, I'm swapping one pattern for another one or, or are there good patterns that you can get into? Like obviously every day you got to do the same things every morning, you wake up the same yeah, time, yeah. you know what I mean? Like how do you differentiate good and bad patterns without taking one too far, like health? Excellent question. Excellent. Yeah, so short answer is yeah, patterns, like daily habits, rituals, routines, awesome. Patterns, I'm, I'm more getting to like things that happen over like, five years like cycles if you will mm -hmm. so yeah you know exercise you know exercise addiction to the point of like training four hours a day um for anyone you know that that to me is problematic but you know mm -hmm. doing a bit each day is great um me riding my horse a couple of days a week or whatever but me riding twice a day every day and just forgetting about everything else and wanting to go and be the man from snowy river that's not great yeah right can you see this way it's just the extreme so i love riding horses but it's not my profession yeah so you know it's, it's just finding you know buddhism the middle path but patterns not just in in your like micro you know days weeks but also like over five years like what's 
and 10 year cycles. You know, I was, I was really wealthy at 25. I was bust at 30. I was super mega wealthy at 35. I was bankrupt and in AA at 40. I had a five year cycle. Mm. That's what I'm getting at. Yep. Started at 20, way 25. Started to get bored. Yep. Bored, right? Way broke at 30, living with dad. Awesome. Got going again. Empire, 35. 40, bankrupt AA. So I had to break the pattern of, of, and my pattern was that nothing was enough. Yep. Whatever I had wasn't enough. More, 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 more. This is good. This is good. Actually, now it's shit. I need more. I need more. Nothing satisfied me. I didn't have hobbies or interests or anything. Didn't have dogs or anything, mate. It was just more, more, more. Compare, compare, compare. And then revving it, you know, 9,000 RPM for a long time. Um, you run out of juice. Does hitting, rock, like, does hitting rock bottom help you re like fix that pattern or can you fix it without totally hitting the skids? Um, well, it's a good question. I think a lot of people hit rock bottom and never come back. So mm. it's not like the absolute, yeah, plenty of them, fuck. I'm sure you've seen plenty of them, yeah. right? And then there's plenty of people who don't have to hit rock bottom and, and work it out and they can see the signs and maybe catch something like our chat here and, Join the dots and yeah, they're, they're the smart ones. You know, caught it early enough. We go, you know what? That makes sense. I've felt a bit of that. Not to that extreme, but I can see what they're saying. I'm going to pivot. Yeah, perfect. You, you know, you only don't, you know, I was just really arrogant. So I, I mm-hmm. just wouldn't have listened, but not everyone is that arrogant. So they might be open and that's great. Like more power to them. So yeah, five year patterns cycles uh and, and really yeah you might replace like a, a, you know a toxic band-aid or an external feel good food alcohol drugs you know with the gym the gym's better than that of course but but still like we just want to have i call it the wheel of life not the wheel of fitness or the wheel of work mm. so every wheel's got spokes let's hope and let, let's hope you know if like you know one of them's gold plated and really robust and the all the others are busted up and dinged and got holes in them and like that's not a well-rounded life the wheel yeah. of life's not not spinning too well so you got to make sure it looks a bit like a circle not a bodgy i, I reckon i've um installation i've i've probably i'm probably the same with the five-year cycles from 20 the ups and downs the mega rich the lose it all the rich the lose it all and I'm finally got to the point now where I'm like, fuck, I don't need all that shit anymore. It just weighs you down. It's more about the time, value of the time. I mean, I exercise probably too much, but you know, at the moment I'm training for a goal, but I spend time with my kids. I work, I try and make, separate it all, but it is hard to pull yourself back to push for one of the things, like to push harder for business for whatever, for whatever your reason is. I um, Do you find a lot of people are just pushing for the sake of it? Like they don't even know why, but they're not. I'll tell you why. Yeah, great question. Great question. Best question is why. Because they, and I get this with a lot of high achievers, I'm getting it probably twice a week at the moment with clients. They, they go, mate, to be honest, I'm actually a little bit bored because it's a whole new feeling because they've been in fight or flight response for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Push, 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 push. And now... They're learning that it doesn't have to be a fight. It doesn't have to be a drama all the fucking time. But that is a whole new way of being. Because when you don't micromanage, when you don't get triggered, when you can read the play, you don't have drama. Mm. But when you do micromanage and you can't read the play and blah, 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 you got dramas all the time. But that doesn't mean you have to have dramas. It means that you're causing them. So when I work with you know, exec CEOs in their businesses on this, Mate, they've got probably like they do a week. They've got probably 70% more time. Do, they, like, do, they, do, they, do, you, do you find them, make them, like ask them to try and find some hobbies so they don't get bored and get back into the Absolutely. Book? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, hobbies, purpose, love. So we get them into the hobbies. A um, couple of them fly airplanes. One of them's got their license. The other's about to get it. You know, others are into 
um, oh, but you know, different sports, horse riding, uh, golf. What are others into? Yeah, there's hobbies, hobbies, um, and but also, and that's great. But the the skill is learn. This is the absolute game changing, life changing skill is learning to turn your brain, your, your mind on and off. Mm-hmm. Without alcohol and drugs, yeah, right. With it, and that was the absolute game changer for me. And mm-hmm. I couldn't do it ever. And then I worked it out over time. And it, it, I learned that animals were very calming. They made me deeply present, not at the start because I was in my head, but over. I just got. I, I learned that attachment to anything is going to cause anxiety and head noise. Yeah. So uh, that's. You know, I read it in all the books. Buddha said it years ago, but I just learned it. I felt that. So because I lost everything that I thought was important, then I went, oh, fucking who cares? I, I just see everything. I, I, I try to gamify life, right? So it's like a video game that's gamified. And here's what I mean. I haven't played a video game for a while, but <laughs> I don't know. What's a good one? Like, I don't know. I can't fight. even. Street fighter. Street fighter. That'll do. That'll do. Yes. All right. So let's. I, I can't remember it exactly, but let's just say, right, you're in there, and you probably you've got to go. I'm sure that you go to the armory or something and get better weapons and that sort of shit, right? Like in a lot of those movies, uh, um, video games, and let's just pretend in that one you do, even if you don't, right? So in life, that's what it is, right? I want to. My big thing is like be learning new stuff each day and using it the next. Learn it each day and use it the next. So problem is everyone's learning every day and doing fuck all with it. Yeah. They're not read, actually using it. Read Mate, 50 books for no reason. You, you go read another book. That'd be a master stroke. <laughs> and, uh, here's a genius concept. Read more shit that you don't use. Yeah. Like turn it up. Like Rubbish. We've been conditioned by society that that's what you have to do, and it's not correct. You, I, what, what makes life exciting and fun and invigorating is I use it. Like, I can't give you an example. I've got so many. Like, I never used to do this because I was so important. And uh, duh, like, now I'm, a, I'm like a little kid and I learn and I learn and I learn. And I'm like, oh, you know what? It doesn't look right to me. And I go and research it and it's not right. And you find, oh, that's the best. It's like a game. And because all the bad things, I thought they were bad, all these things happen and it turned out good. I don't care what happens. All right, no more real estate coaching, no more speaking. I'm like, okay, cool. Where are we going? What's next? Now, I'm not expecting people to get to that overnight and most never will. But the only place you ever find peace, stillness, freedom and excitement is there mm-hmm. and and for me to because otherwise you you can't not be in your head because yeah. you, you, there's always a story attached to an outcome that you don't have control over in any way shape or form it, you, that's why you do your best where you are in the moment each time done that's i had a really good uh, saying the other day a guy said instead of reading 10 books read the same book 10 times and then actually use it that's much better. Yeah, I did that with Eckhart Tolle, New Earth. Yeah. I probably I, That's probably the only book I've listened to in the last three years, but I've probably listened to it 200 times on Audible. Yeah, wow. It's all there. That's the only book. Fuck the rest off. Fuck them all <laughs> off, folks. Oh, mate, fair. Everyone's like, oh, you should write a book. I'm like, fuck, yeah. I should write with me horse too. Like, yeah. I just, you have written a few. <laughs> yeah, mate, I have. And look, you know, I, I just, I just, mate, my big thing is... I just want to be happy every day. Yeah. That's it, mate. That, that, nothing comes close to that feeling. Like, it's just the best. I don't give a fuck about anything else. And through that, I help more people. Through that, I'm better with my animals and my, you know, all of that. I'm better. I'm better because I'm happy. 100%. But I'm not, I'm not interested in, well, I'm sitting here down the end of the, I'm out the back of Summersby because it's, it's seven million degrees, and I just drop up, drive up over the hill to get under some shade. I'm sitting in my little car. I'm talking to you. I'm meeting a client up at the property at three. He's, he's come down from Newcastle. Like, fucking life's great. Mm. When you had the old, when you the had the Ferraris man, right? and the penthouses mate, and all the money, fuck that, all the net, mate. But here's the thing: 
was thinking about this today. The only person on that property all day was me. And mate, yeah. I was immersed in deep presence, no thought. I, I can't, I get that emotional and excited about sharing this because I could never do this. Like, it's, it's like, it's mm. literally like a miracle, mate, because I could never do this. And now, so I got there, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking of gamifying life. So I'm doing this um, uh, performance horsemanship course. I found it online through YouTube. There's a guy called Warwick Schiller. He's like a, like a, uh, you know, a bloody horseman version of me. He's into the same shit. Yep. But he's like a superstar bloody horseman. Aussie in America. He's into Wayne Dyer and all the stuff you and I talk about. My class. Yep. What about this? Anyway, so. I did a bit of his course, and um, mate, every time I'm with my horse, I got, I'm le- I've learned, and then I'm using it. Learn it, use it, learn it, use it, learn it. Oh, it's the best. So that's just like everyone's got, you know, they get their horse, and they don't really know what to do, and i like, fuck that, I'm going to learn. I'm not yeah. going to talk to someone else who doesn't really know either. <laughs> I'm going to go to the source, right? Yeah. And it's been like, oh, it's just, but I do this with everything. Who actually knows what the fuck they're talking about? Let's talk to them. And then I just immerse myself. And, yeah. I, and, I, and, I, and I did that with my golf swing. I do it with horses. I do it with business. And, and like you just get to see, because it's process focused, not outcome. You, you, you get under the bonnet, you tweak the process. And it's just like, wow. Like you just see improvement, 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 improvement in your life, in your business. In, mate, it's the best. And that's what it should be. It should be. That's why. I said to a group this morning, like, we've got to get rid of this, um, you know, black and white thinking that if I don't get a, a listing in real estate, for example, then that's, that's shit. If I get it, it's good. It's rubbish. Why? Tell me why. Why absolutely is that black and white good and shit? Mm. Because now, the reason I say that is not getting that listing might, they might go at a certain place at a certain time and meet someone else who's got a joint five times as expensive or meet someone else who gives them another opportunity. That's the opportunity of a lifetime. Like we don't know. We, 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 we want to categorize it and compartmentalize everything. And that's shit. If I don't get it, that's mm-hmm. not fair. This is, we don't know. We've got to be playful and curious because we don't know, like stop, we've got to stop judging things. And when you do that and you just, you know, what did I learn today? What did I learn? And I get this thirst for knowledge and, Mate, everything. Like I was riding my horse today. I'm no horse whisperer, by the way, but uh, you know, but um, I know it'd be hard to believe. <laughs> mate, he's an eight. He's an eight-year-old thoroughbred, very sharp. Mate, and after spending a couple of weeks really watching what this guy does, mate, I'm riding him now on a loose rein. He's got his head down. Like no one teaches you how to do that because they're all like, you know, heaps of contact and, yeah. mate, it's all backwards. You get them super relaxed, mate. They go up and down the gears. Fuck, it's just because you find the like that, and it's just you can progress at anything if you commit to learning and not judging it. Not like, oh, that's good, but they're better. No, fuck that. Just learn, 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 learn. Like being there today all day without thinking about anything else, I would have been in my head after half an hour at the old gym. Yeah, mate, I didn't think about it. So I'm, I'm riding without. I'm like in the round pen, riding without stirrups. Over here, trying this, doing like fuck. Mate, looked at the phone. I thought I've got to talk to you. Like, that is the greatest gift. Just being deeply where you are, and and if, if people then people once they learn how to do that, then they could probably read a book or two. But it doesn't go in, and we don't grow and process if we can't be single task focus where we are. So that's, that's a really important thing for everyone, mate, to learn how to do that. Nature helps. Look at your animals, birds, dogs, like breathing. You know, what are the patterns? I've got a client at the moment that, that um, you know, every few years she throws the toys out of the cot and quits. That's a pattern. Yeah, right. I call it eating a hand grenade. <laughs> have, have, you got a, have you got a pattern of eating a hand grenade, folks? <laughs> You find, I find, I reckon I'd have to say the number one pattern for 90% of people is every single day they go on social media and they judge themselves on everyone else's shit. Mate, so bad. And that's why my Instagram followers following are a whopping zero. (laughs) 
an absolute whopping zero because I just choose to live my life and do my stuff and I get joy each day. We don't. Mate, comparison is the thief of joy. It robs you of joy. It robs you of love. It robs you of life. So fuck it off. No one's as good as they look, but we're all much better than we think. Exactly. I guess the goal so, is get, find a co- find coaches. I mean, I've got about fucking 100 coaches, I reckon, all hmm. experts in their field. One for fitness. Obviously, you're my coach. I got then I got coaches that are experts at what they do. Immerse myself in that when I'm doing it, and that's fucking what's got me through so many things. Yeah, but I reckon, mate, everybody, because like I've, a lot of people, they're kind of looking for band aid fixes. Hmm. But really, if your head is so busy and you can't turn it off. Like, don't do anything until you work out that. Yeah. Like, that's like, because I'm coming across this a lot at the moment mm-hmm. with all, people everywhere, all industries, because that is the definitive game changer. Like, we have to learn to go up and down the gears, turn it on, turn it off. 30, 40 years ago, we didn't because there was no internet, no iPhones. There was one landline and dad got the shits if someone called after 8 p.m. <laughs> the world was slower, right? Yeah. Well, that's, a, that's a bit rude. It's 8 15. Who could that be? <laughs> yeah. right. Jeffrey, that better not be one of your friends calling after eight. Like, fuck me. That was the world we lived in. Now, no wonder everyone's depressed, anxious, riddled with fear. It's about, mate, Foxtel, all of the platforms, the you know digital platforms, the, the blooming internet, the Tablets, iPhones, oh my lord! Social media platforms, like you cannot escape. So our brains have not evolved. No. Right. Uh-huh. So back then, like life was simple, yeah, a lot simpler. Now, same brain. It's like putting a V12 in my Hyundai gets. <laughs> totally. It's gonna shit itself at some stage. <laughs> it's gonna shit itself. Mate, the axles are going to ping out there, the wheels, the nuts. We, that's what's going on, mate. The, the, our, our brains have not gotten an upgrade, right? But but there's it's just so loaded with life now. There's just not not even life, noise, noise, comparison, noise com- all the time. Back in the day, 30 years ago, there wasn't. So you finished work, you went home, you didn't have any internet or whatnot, and you started work again the next day. You you got buffer. You you could decompress. No one can decompress anymore. I know people are on their phone before bed. They wake up first thing they do, pick up their phone. It's like fuck news on in the background on the TV. It's bad, mate. It really is, and you, and you don't like none of the none of your original best thinking will ever happen in that place. Yeah. It's got to be still. Like, that, and that's, I think you're on that thing with Benny Handel the other day. Like, we're talking about how many books. I said none because it wasn't like me going, I'm amazing. It's just that, fuck, all the answers are there when you're nice and calm and quiet. And because I've been at it for a few years. So I, I kind of know my industries. And, but yeah, the only learning I do is more so in, um, you know, horses and golf now. But, but like, other than that, I, I just, I, I love getting better at being able to manually get into really deep stillness fast. And I, I, I say this to people all the time, like five deep breaths, focus on an object deeply and you'll just feel the thoughts go away and then reset, manual override, reset, then go again. So you don't waste the next two hours in your head. Mm-hmm. It's all about... It's present time versus past and future time. So if you spend most of your life in present time, you'll kill it. But 90% of your time needs to be present time. 10% can be future and past. 90-10 ratio. Most people are the opposite. That ratio thing can help people. Like how much of your head space is in the present, where you are, and how much is in the past and the future. And until that ratio is around 90-10, you can't be effective where you are. You can't connect where you are. So these are the, you know, patterns, habits, getting out of our head, so important. 
and not being really, you know, don't dismantling people's expectations of you. Like, who cares? Until you get rid of that, don't care. This is what I want to do, don't care. I'm doing that. Then you'll meet people who like doing that. They might not be at Ivy Pool or wherever, but, uh, mate, that's great. Like, it turns out there's, a, there's other joints than Ivy Pool. Who would have thought? So, um, yeah. Definitely not at Ivy Pool. Um, so do you, if people out there that want to reach out, do you, are you, do you offer coaching to many people? How, how does it work with you? Yeah, mate, I do. i got a little couple of spots available. I'm, yeah, not, not I don't do truckloads, but, yeah, probably one or two available for new clients uh, at the moment. So, yeah, I just at Jeff Jowett, yep. uh, Instagram. And I do, yeah, I do speaking and consulting work and a little bit of one-on-one, and that's great. It's good. And, um, yeah, so that, that um, mate, it's like, for me, the problem's not the problem. Mm-hmm. Like the problem is under the that the problem is the effect. Yep. We've got people have got to work out. Okay, why do I? Why when I'm eating a shitload of cakes or booze or whatever, like why? Yeah. Why? Why? Um, the, I do. I there's layers to all of this, right? So I do it with food, alcohol, drugs. I do it with business. I do it with procrastination, touching pain. Not, like, all of these techniques are so important to get people to, to raise their awareness about their own the self and why they don't do what they need to do or why they do what they do. So, mate, keep an eye out for patterns. Mine were every five years. Rocks and diamonds, they were, mate. Rocks and diamonds. <laughs> oh, man. I've, yeah, I'm trying to break my patterns. Helps working with you, obviously. Learn a lot every time. It's great. Yeah, look, you, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit older and, mate, I, um, you, no, for everyone listening, nothing good happens fast. No. If it's going fast, beware, run. It's not. No. She's going she's like, to go bad. <laughs> no. everything, everything worth doing takes a bit of time. Because, yeah, you, you, you learn about yourself through that. So if it's happening real quick, you know, be careful. That's the same with business, I guess. If your business is going, you're in all sorts of shit. Slow down. Yeah, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Because they've got to have the, they've got to get the processes, and you've got to get the management team and everything and the infrastructure. Otherwise, mate, none of it can handle it. It just implodes. Oh, I got kids. <laughs> uh, I'll let you go play with the kids, mate. They've been very good. The kids. They've been, been very quiet. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Jeff. I know how busy you are, mate. I know you no want to worries. get back to your horse. You're an absolute champion. No champ. worries, mate. Thank you so much. The kids will chat soon. See, See you, buddy. buddy.